Okay, in this document I have a couple of paragraphs that I would like to apply a quick style to, but when I go to my more styles menu, there isn't one in here that I like. There's nothing I want to use, so I have to create my own. To do that, I'm going to format one of these paragraphs first the way I want it. And this is going to be something very small and hard to read. There we go. Yeah, that looks good. That's the fine print. In fact, that's what I'm going to call it. I'm going to make sure that that formatted text is selected. Go back to my More Styles and choose Save Selection as a new Quick Style. And when I click there, it prompts me to give it a name, which I'm going to do. And like I said, Fine Print. I'll choose OK. Yeah. And when I look up here, there's my Quick Style. And I will select that paragraph. Choose Fine Print there and it's just that easy. The only bad part about what we just did is the fact that when I go ahead now and create a new document that style's not there. It's not available to me. Well don't worry about that right now. We'll show you how to get around that. Let's go ahead and let's do another one. Now in this document I already have some text formatted. This is the one I want to create that style from. So I'm going to go ahead and select it and go to my more styles choose save selection as a new quick style I'm gonna give it a name I'll call it Bill's header and oh look at that I didn't apply that style to that text but it went ahead and did it anyway well let's see what happens I just want it to be on that little paragraph header and it applied that style to the rest of the paragraph too that's because the reason that this happened is when you create a style with this, it automatically creates it as a paragraph style. What we really wanted was a character style. Otherwise, it's going to apply everything to the entire paragraph. So what I'm going to do is get out of this. I'm going to set this back to where it was before I created that style initially. There we go. And we are going to create the style in another way. Instead of going to our More Styles window, we're going to choose this button here, and that's going to open up my Styles window. Now at the bottom of my Styles window, you see this little button here, New Style. I'm going to click there, and this is a better place to go ahead and create Quick Styles from. It's a little more complex, a little harder to get to, but in the long run, it's going to be better because you're going to have more control over what's happening. Now, style one, let's call this, uh, this was going to be Bill's header. Style type, I don't want it to be a paragraph style, I want it to be a character style. And this is fine, default paragraph font. You'll see I have my formatting options here. Let's try Century Gothic. 12. I'm going to make it bold and see we get a little preview here. Make a nice olive green. Now remember over here I had chosen to have it all caps and we don't see that option in here. Don't worry we have more options. Go down here to format and choose font. See that? We got a few more things in here. I'm going to choose all caps. That's what I want as a style. Choose OK. Now, we talked about how when I created that style from the More Styles window, it was only in that document. If I want this style to be available to me now in all new documents, I simply have to click here on this button, New Documents Based on this template. That's going to go ahead and add it into our normal template, and it will be available to us from now on. Choose OK. And there's my style, my Bill's header. And I'm going to select the text I want to put it to. See that? Just like that. It's a character style, so I can now just apply it to a word, a phrase, a sentence, a single character if I wanted. And if I go ahead and create a new blank document, see that? My style is there, and it will be there from now on. 
And that's how easy it is to create your own custom quick style. Thanks. We'll see you next time.